Hi there everyone, it's Anthony again, and you already know why we're here. Kylan's back. I'm here, of course. We're doing another episode of Buffy the Vampire Slayer. So now we're on episode six, which is The Pack. And for those of you who don't know, I've already seen the show, but Kylan hasn't. So we're gonna be watching it from two different perspectives and I'll be kind of picking his brain as we go on what he thinks of it. So it's been a while since I've seen it though, so I don't necessarily remember exactly what this episode is about. I'm probably going to start remembering it as I watch it, but the little things, it's almost like I'm seeing it for the first time too. So, um, I'm looking forward to it and I think this will be pretty fun. You ready, Kylan? Yep. Awesome. All right. Well then let's go ahead and do Buffy the Vampire Slayer season one, episode six, the pack. Going in there. Mm. Why is it off limits? It's a quarantine. These hyenas just came in from Africa, so keep out. Even if they call your name. Hey, we can kind of relate to that. What are you talking about? Well, the quarantine part, not the just came in from Africa. Keep the racist jokes, okay? Humans. <laughs> Stop! It's not funny! <laughs> now, this is just going so much further than just mean high school bullying. That's typically never a good thing. No, for real. When people's eyes start glowing yellow. Seriously. Well, every time we're getting a little closer to what you want, because hyenas are kind of close to werewolves in a way. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Health, his mood, his blood pressure. 130 over 80. You got it bad, girl. He makes my head go. Yeah, that's kind of weird. <laughs> So these, this kind of like turns Xander into like an alpha male or something. What's For real. Is something wrong? Did I do something? His what whole personality has changed. That's crazy talk. Like they are just that comfortable with doing that in the library because they know nobody's gonna Seriously. come in and check out a book. Right? Ooh. He's not cute. He's a very no. underwhelming He's mascot. A fierce yeah. Razorback. Mr. Flutie kidding. is such a it's goofy simple, really. person. See, the bisector. <laughs> so scary. <laughs> you may have forgotten the rules are as follows. Every high school show or movie has a dodgeball scene. Oh, for real. That's like on the checklist. For real. Dang. They really messed my boy up for no reason. For real. I love it. <laughs> the coaches just always love that stuff. <laughs> oh my gosh. I mean, the sad thing is, these other guys kind of just are acting the exact same way they already acted. Yeah, really. Not much variation. That's crazy. They're about to eat that stuff. Yes. I read somewhere that when they first shot this slow motion scene that um, Xander was actually walking in slow motion. And they had to really? tell him not to do that. What do you think about the um, the mean Xander performance, like, in terms of the acting? It's a little, it's a little on the nose, but I mean... It's also kind of interesting because this is another example of Xander getting some time to flex his uh, character in general, you know? Yeah, he definitely seems to get a lot of opportunities like that. I feel like for the most part it doesn't feel too, like, unnatural. Like, it doesn't feel too forced to me. Like, the situation overall feels unnatural and kind of, like, you know. not picking on you. He's unrealistic, but I guess it is lot. unrealistic. But just the way he all of a sudden now is best friends with all those guys. But the acting itself, like, actually feels me. kind of like it works to me. I have to kill him. Child, I'm serious. Is that mine? Except the part about killing him. Testosterone is a great. I feel like Giles of all people should words. know to take this more seriously. I cannot believe that you, you think so? of all people are trying yeah. to scully me. 
There is something Seems a little out of character. Get your books. Look stuff up. Yeah, he usually is all business, isn't he? Like he would know. know that there's, it's very yeah, likely this could be something wrong. Best. Or been possessed by one? Not just Xander, all of them. Well, I, I've certainly never heard of... Uh... Herbert, they found him. The pig? Dead. Also I mean, pig. stranger things have happened already on this show. Freaking out. Mm -hmm. How do you even think of the accurate punishment or discipline for some students eating a pig? Hyenas aren't well liked. Huh. They do seem to be the slowest of the animal huh. Until Willow Denver's stops kidding kind of yourself that I can settle with anyone but you. Taking over. I said, no, I don't want to hurt you. He but is. <laughs> I don't think they're worried about expulsion at this point. Get down from there this instant! Seriously. Oh. It's past expulsion. Oh. Are you insane? <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. They didn't hurt him, did they? Yeah, hate him. They ate the principal. They yeah, principal that's what just happened in that last scene. Ate him up. I I, I the, saw uh, that, but I didn't realize he was theory is that done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. he's done. But I mean, I guess they did say that no they were gonna scene. be doing anything they wanted in the show. So. Well, are you sure if he wakes up, I'll be all right. Go. Come on. Oh my gosh. That's a recipe for disaster. Is she really going to be able to handle that? Guess we'll find out. I don't think she will be. And she's got a baby too. Seriously. Maybe. How are you yeah. falling for this, Willow? Well, I know there's something wrong with me. Seriously. I think it's getting worse. But I can't just stand around waiting for Buffy to decide it's time to punch me out again. You know I am. Look at me. He's clearly not even acting like Xander right now. He's acting like how Willow wishes Xander would act. For real. Now I know. Let me out! Let me out! The students have been possessed. That was really dumb of him to do, yes. though. Are you sure? It really was. Like, he didn't even give it some time when he tried to, like, take it. He the just imported those hyenas from Africa. There was something strange about them from day one. Yeah, he could have played that a lot better. He was doing that a good job at first. Is very <coughs> oh, man. These laughs are getting to me. Really. Oh, right. The uh, sacred circle. Yes, you huh. need that to. Um, well, this would be here when, when the children first came. Why would you? <laughs> How terribly frustrating for you that a bunch of school children could accomplish what you could not. It bothered me. But the power will come out. Giles put all that together real quick. There goes Giles yet again. <laughs> Willow's just going ready. along with it. Here. What is this? The predatory act, remember? Uh, right. You'll pretend to slash my throat and, and put <laughs> the evil in the hyenas? Something like that. Oh, he just sucked all of them in. They're like, yo, we're just recurring characters. We don't want no part of this. If they're even recurring uh, characters. Did I miss anything? Your secret dies with me. Shoot me, stuff me, mount me. <laughs> Looking back at all these episodes, it definitely is interesting for me looking back because 
it makes me wonder how I would see this or how one well, I guess I know how I would see this if it was my first time seeing this because I've seen it before but rather like how this would be mm -hmm. received if like this was just it like the show just stopped like after this season because a lot of these episodes definitely feel like kind of hit or miss in a few ways to me just like not necessarily the characters because I feel like the characters are really really good but the way some of the stuff just comes across, I guess it's kind of the campiness. It feels kind of cheesy and generic in some ways. But again, that might just be because, you know, everything else copies it. But it just is interesting to me to wonder if this show would have just stopped after this season with like episodes like this, how it would have came across. It probably wouldn't have gone down nearly as, I guess, as much of a classic as it has now. Yeah, probably not. But, um... I wanted to ask you, like, if you've caught on to, like, the whole thread or pattern that's been going on so far in each of these episodes to where, like... Yeah. I mean, I'm get picking up that there's, like, a different kind of thread each week, you know? Hmm. Well, I mean, more so along the lines of how they're doing this little metaphor thing where, like, high school is hell, so they take a very like oh. common a very common issue that people have in high school and then they turn a monster into it and so like these different stereotypical things that you would usually see in high school movies or like just hear about in high school they take those exact problems and then like apply these supernatural situations to them hmm. no i haven't caught on to that but now that you say it now it makes a lot like total sense yeah especially that episode where the with the body switch Right, exactly. And the witch. The parent wanting to live through their child, which is something yeah. that happens a lot. Or like, you know, teenage teenage boys being worried about virginity and all that stuff and being scared of yeah, people yeah, finding yeah, out yeah, they're a virgin. Yeah, definitely. Definitely that episode, too. Or, you know, a lot of a, a mean clique in school that won't, I don't know, that are just bullies. For no reason and won't leave people alone now they're uh -huh. actually hyenas and animals so yeah that's the okay yeah when you put it like that that does make sense that makes a lot of sense mm. so yeah what did you think about the episode uh this episode i wasn't really a big fan of mm. um i think maybe because i'm in such anticipation of the of the werewolves that any like grouped off kind of creature like that Especially it being an animal just feels like Not really a cop-out, but uh, just more of a disappointment, you know Interesting Yeah, well, I mean it's not I'll tell you now. It's not all werewolves It's not like it is werewolves in the show, but it's not like all werewolves. So um, I Wouldn't go into it with that expectation of just werewolves and whatnot but huh. But yeah, it is, it is werewolves in the show though what I do appreciate about this episode and all these episodes so far is I feel like they're doing a good job in developing the characters, though. At least the main characters. So far, most oh, of yeah. the auxiliary supporting characters change every episode, it seems like. And that's another thing that I guess kind of hurts it so far, or at least makes all these feel like very standalone stories. Because it seems like it's just, uh -huh. you know, Buffy, Willow, Xander, and Giles... And then, like, Buffy's mom, maybe, and the principal. But outside of them, it's different people every episode, <laughs> pretty much. And Angel and Cordelia. But, um, yeah. It feels like the other character, it feels like the other students in the school just completely change every time. But I guess that's because they're seeing different stuff. I don't know. So, you say you were pretty surprised about, um, Principal... Flutie, huh? That does kind of come off guard. Yeah, that, that, that was a big shock to me. That was the biggest shock of this episode, in my opinion. Oh, yeah. That definitely comes off guard. It's, it's going to be hard to find a principal that would be more of an interesting character than Principal Flutie. Yeah, really. All right, well, that does it for this one. This was Buffy the Vampire Slayer, Season 1, Episode 6, The Pack. Um, I'm Anthony, that's Kyland. Join us again later for another reaction to Buffy the Vampire Slayer and other things if you watch other stuff on this channel. Leave a comment below about what you think of this episode. Let's keep the discussion going. Like the video if you liked it. Subscribe if you want to see more. And we're out.